And here on The Vibe, we cover the most exciting trends of the world and the most inspiring stories from past to present, capturing hearts and minds. We begin today's program by taking you to check out an exhibition featuring 500 high-definition digital replicas to scale of ancient Chinese paintings. The collaborative project is a joint effort from a long list of renowned art institutions such as Beijing's Palace Museum, the British Museum and the Met in New York City. Currently underway in the eastern city of Hangzhou, the showcase allows art and history lovers a chance to see rare and valuable Chinese artworks. The exhibition in Zhejiang University is a comprehensive showcase of China's successful use of digital technologies over the past 16 years to preserve ancient Chinese paintings. On display are nearly 500 pieces of one-to-one -one replicas of masterpieces. These are part of a large-scale national cultural project known as the Series of Ancient Chinese Paintings. With the help of 260 cultural institutions worldwide, including the British Museum and New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, the project team has amassed a digital archive of some 12,250 pieces of ancient artworks. The series contains five complete collections and more than 240 volumes. It's considered the most comprehensive archive of ancient Chinese art with the highest quality of reproduction. The series of ancient Chinese paintings is compiled and co-published by Zhejiang University and the Cultural Heritage Bureau of Zhejiang Province. This project establishes a high-definition image database for all extant ancient Chinese paintings. This exhibition brings the highlights of the series to the public. One of the masterpiece digital replicas on display is the huge hand scrolled painting from the Northern Song Dynasty, a panorama of rivers and mountains by Wang Ximeng. Ensuring the safety of cultural relics is the most difficult part in the photographing of these cultural relics because there are very strict rules for extracting photos of a masterpiece like this one, a panorama of rivers and mountains. After much coordination, the Palace Museum opened this sealed piece and helped the project team complete the photographing of the nearly 12-meter-long hand scroll painting. To bring back to life the authentic appeal of these paintings, the project team created the highest definition images by applying the most advanced foam technologies. This helped present the details that are not easy to find in the original pieces. When we enlarge the pictures, we can see every plant and tree, every stroke and detail. This will help deepen our learning and connection with traditional culture. That's why this digital transformation is significant. The exhibition also features high-definition digital copies of Chinese paintings from museums abroad, including the admonitions grow from the Eastern Jin Dynasty and a five-old man in Suiyang from the Song Dynasty. Five old men in Suiyang were split into five parts in the early 20th century. These were later collected in three museums in the United States. This time the project brings them back together in one digital copy. It gives us a chance to see its original form. The exhibition also replicates the 57th cave of the Dunhuang Grottoes. Zhejiang University is the second stop of its national tour. It will later open in the Zhejiang Art Museum and National Museum of China in Beijing. <laughs> 